Buddy Kofoid, outside row number one as they bring him out of turn number four. And we get back to green flag racing here at the Southern Illinois Center. The fifth annual Shamrock Classic is underway once again. McIntosh with a hole shot out to the early lead as Kofoid falls into second. Sunshine there in third. Chris Windham runs in the fourth spot. You can see a pair of NOS Energy Green sponsored entries running third and fourth on the racetrack. And like you said, everybody is trying to get to the bottom early. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, what we're going to see here, I would say, for at least, you know, probably the first 10 laps or so, is everybody get to the bottom and just try to, you know, work this track in. Uh, once the bottom starts flicking off, uh, you know, you, you start seeing guys move up to the top here. But, yeah, we're definitely going to see them down here early. Like I said earlier, uh, they're going to get the lap traffic really quick. I would imagine in the next lap or two, we're going to see Cannon in the lap traffic, and that's when it's really going to get interesting. Cannon McIntosh, still your leader. Buddy Kofoid sits in second. Tyler Courtney has closed in on the 67. As they work off turn number four now, Chris Windham still back there behind Sunshine. And now trouble there, we saw for Kofoid. Yeah, they all kind of meleeed there and Buddy turned to the right to avoid it. And man, like we've been talking about, man, these motors just shut off, shut off so easily. Like you, like you can see, he's uh, not really stuck on anything. He's touching the wall, but. Uh. So it's Cannon McIntosh again. Out front, Tyler Courtney second. He's to bring some off turn four, 11 laps down, 39 to go. We're back underway. Sunshine, oh, now Cannon McIntosh locks it up in turn number one. And takes Tyler Courtney with him. That high line and trying to make it work there. Tanner Thorson there, that third car in line on the right of your screen is the 91T laying a little bit on the three in of Jake Newman. As they work through turns one and two, Newman, Newman down low and Tyler Thomas up on top as we'll be halfway next time by. Thomas, one of those guys trying to make the outside work. Yeah, he's not like we talked about earlier, one of the first guys to move up and it's it's working out for him. You know, he gets a good enough run here on Newman, he'll be able to get by him getting the three and also, like we said, you know, once once one guy goes up, it uh, seems like everybody else moves up pretty quick. So looks like everybody from mid-pack on back's kind of already moved up, and Wyndham has no idea. So it could get good here once Tyler Thomas gets to Chris Wyndham and see if Chris Wyndham gets any signals over here, hears him up there or just, you know, naturally moves up like he already did. I'm sure he's feeling the bottom slow down right now and uh, knows he's going to have to change his line. I'm sure he sees the top cleaning up too. That, you know, tells him that there's guys up running it in the back of the field also. Tanner Thorson getting, uh, getting a little sporty here with the 39 BC of Cobo Dine. Robert Dalby there in the four car working down low as well. But a nice move by Tyler Thomas to get around Jake Newman for second. There's Thorson throwing the slider on Bo Dine. And Thorson again will try it down in turn one as Kevin Thomas Jr. locks it up in turn one. And the caution comes out yet again. The guys moved up right now. Uh, I think we're gonna see Robert Dalby be a, be a factor here real soon. Yeah, bro, the 91T there, that's Tyler Thomas slid high and Tanner Thorson taking a hook to the inside of him. And the four of Robert Dalby, as you talked about, as Thorson takes over second from Tyler Thomas, Dalby up into the mix and Kyle Simon as well. But Tanner Thorson on a tear. Here comes Tyler Thomas once again coming off the inside of turn two. Tanner Thorson been working that low part of the racetrack, and Chris Wyndham, I don't know if he knows what's coming. Maybe you can see him right there, but he uh, is the 91T. Again to the inside, Thorson gonna take a look to the inside in turn three, here comes the slider for the lead, and he will get it done. Coming off turn four, Tanner Thorson to the point. Tyler Thomas now looking to the inside four of Chris Wyndham. Thorson kinda running in the middle, Not, don't see many people able to do that lately, but he's uh, making it work. Like I kind of said, entering on the bottom and kind of slide, sliding across the middle and picking up a little bit of moisture where people tend to avoid running, but he's finding finding it for now. I uh, don't know how long that'll last. Thomas uh, back in two seconds as he gets by Chris Windham who falls back to third. So laps winding down, it'll be 12 to go. This time by for Thorson. Tyler Thomas, Chris Windham, Robert Dalby, Kyle Simon, Buddy Kofoid is up to sixth. Good run right there for the 67. Yeah, especially you know having to go to the back and 
uh, battle with all this traffic and then uh, avoiding all these big wrecks. So, uh, Solid Kyle's night here at the Shamrock Classic as it'll be three laps to go for the Oil Fi Fire sponsored Hayward Motorsports number 19, Tanner Thorson. Working his way through turns one and two down the back straightaway. Two to go this time by. Talking 11 second laps, give or, give or take. They go quick. And Tanner Thorson will see the white flag next time by. Made some big moves to get to the point. And it's gonna pay off for him here as the white flag has been displayed for Tanner Thorson. As he works down the back straightaway for the final time, looking for his 15th career. USAC National Midget win. Thorson will win the Shamrock Classic here at DeCoin. Tyler. The emotions spilling from the 19 car.